Hey everybody and welcome to a new WWE figure vlog. Today we got packages actually to unbox, not just one. This is the first one, but there are probably going to be more later in the video. They're not here yet, but I'm going to show you those as well. I would say we get right into this package here first because this is from walkoutwear.com. Um, really excited for the package. Should be something really cool in here, so let's take a look at what we got okay guys so we're here in front of the gcw arena and we're going to look at what figures i got from walkout wear here today so we're starting off with the first figure and the first figure is basic 73 triple h um i think this is the wrestlemania attire and i do not have the elite of this so this is pretty cool to have triple h basic 73 like I said, all these figures are coming from walkoutwear.com. And yeah, this is a really cool Triple H. Like I said, don't have the WrestleMania Elite, so this is really cool to have. There's a lot more stuff we're going to have here. We have Kevin Owens from, I think this is his WrestleMania 32 attire from the ladder match. I think it is. It's the first Owens they made in red. We're going to get an Elite in red attire as well. Uh, coming out in Elite 53, I think, I think so. But yeah, this Owens is pretty cool. I think this is also the first Owens to finally have kick pads. So that is pretty cool. I really like the red attire. So this is really cool. Um, head scan is, I think, the Elite 47, which is probably his best head scan yet. It says Price Fighter and everything. And on the back, it has the red KO. Really cool figure. I'm uh, really glad to finally have a red Kevin Owens. And this is like... The first basic Owens that I have in my collection right now. I had another one, but I used the hat on an Elite, so um, on my Elite Kevin Steen. So yeah, this is pretty much my first basic Owens, and the red attire is kind of cool. So pretty glad to have that in my collection now as well. Then we have more figures from Basic 73. We got Cesaro here, and I really like that attire. I said that before when I revealed the pictures of the set. Now, so head skin looks to be the same as Elite 47. It got these smaller arms, as I think all his basics have. So uh, Elite 47 had bigger arms um, than his other releases, but I think the basics always used these arms. And the attire is really cool. The white and gold and black looks really cool i think this is like from his like return when he came back to the wwe after his injury so yeah this is pretty cool to have really cool looking cesaro and yeah there's a lot more here that i'm going to show you guys we also have another figure from basic 73 and this is big e and this is a really cool attire. It's really colorful. I think the Xavier and Kofi are in a battle pack to match this attire, but they are wearing uh, shirts, painted on shirts. So I'm not too sure if I'll get them, but this Big E is like really cool. The head scan is his um, Elite 44 one that they've been using for a while now. The upcoming Elite will have a different head scan, which is not uh, with the mouth open. So I prefer that. But the attire on the basic is really nice, colorful. So uh, pretty cool to have this big E here. And yeah, like I said, really cool figure here for basic 73 big E. Then we get to the two figures that I've been pretty excited about. We have Seth Rollins. And I'm really glad to finally have like an updated Rollins. This is the basic. And it's the first time for me getting this brand new head skin, the screaming one, that will be on the upcoming Elite releases as well. But I really do like the head skin. Some people said they don't like it, but actually it's such a cool head skin in my opinion. And like I said, finally an updated Rollins attire, so this is pretty cool. Um, like I said, two upcoming Elites will have of Rollins as well. Elite 52 coming out pretty soon in the Summer Slam attire, so I can't wait for that. But yeah, this is a really cool Rollins. Uh, will come to good use here. And then we have the final figure and you can probably guess who it is. This is AJ Styles. And you guys remember, I kind of criticized AJ Styles Elites 
on the channel here. But I gotta say, this is the first time for me to get a basic of AJ Styles, and these are a lot better uh, parts-wise. I feel the legs are bigger, which is really important to me. Uh, because the elite legs to me are too skinny, like I told you guys before. The torso works pretty well. I like it a lot, actually, for AJ. Uh, it's still the first AJ Styles head skin on this basic right here. The next basic uh, coming out in basic 76. Uh, this is shipping pretty soon, I think, as well, the basic 76, uh, which you can pre-order right now on walkoutway.com as well. Like with my discount code 22, you'll save 22% off. And of course you get free shipping and everything. And I really think um, that figure will be really cool the upcoming in blue. So I can't wait to get that. But yeah, this is also a very cool AJ and I'm glad to have it in my collection. You guys know I'm a huge AJ Styles fan. So um, I try, I will try to get all of these releases in the future. So this is really cool. AJ Styles only missing the knee pads, but that is like an easy fix if you are bothered by that so yeah this aj is like really cool with the club logo everything i think this is the first time you actually had the p1 logo so really cool uh really cool aj styles and pretty much wraps it up for this set here let's take a look at all of the figures together this is the whole basic series 73 i think i'm pretty sure all the figures are still available on walkoutway.com so uh, if you want to pick up something there, use my discount code 22, you'll save 22% at checkout. So that is a lot of money and you'll always get free shipping on there. They make sure to uh, ship the best packaging uh, for you guys because if you order through the website, they'll make sure, they told me, to give you the best uh, packaging if you're like a mock collector and they have custom made boxes to fit the figures perfectly. So if you're a mock collector, um, you should probably uh, go over there and get your figures free shipping and they'll take care of everything that everything gets there safe. So I think that is pretty cool. Uh, for me, he was good enough to uh, ship them loose because it just helps me on shipping and everything. But yeah, I think there should be some more basics coming on later in the video. All right, you guys, here we are back with the next package to take a look at. And this is a really cool one. 12 figures in total in this one. I'll give you a quick glance at what's in there. So let's get right into it, I would say, and look what we got in this box that just came in as well from walkoutway.com. Let's take a look at it right now. So here we are back again with more new figures, as I showed you guys. So let's get into this package. I already opened it before, kind of failed doing an unboxing. But still everything is in here, so let's take a look at what we got. So first off, we got from WWE Basic 74, we got Samoa Joe uh, in his red attire. Pretty cool. Um, the head scan is a new one. This is not the one that came on the Elite. It looks really cool, actually. Very, very good Samoa he Joe head scan, which is kind of exclusive for the Basics as of now. They did not make an elite with that hat. So yeah, this is a really good hat skin just to take a close up here. Really cool hat skin for Samoa Joe is now my second Samoa Joe. My collection after the um, Elite 43, I think it was. So yeah, pretty cool to have a new Joe, especially with the new hat skin. That is really awesome. Then next off, we have a figure from basic series. 75 and this is Chris Jericho and I really like that attire a lot I think this is the same attire as Elite 53 Jericho will be in but this has the a new head scan for Jericho and this is such a great head scan um, in person is even better I feel than on the pictures really really great head scan this is the same as the you just made the list Elite head scan so really cool I like the attire I probably am going to put some smaller knee pads on that and then I'm going to be able to use this basic in GCW. I think this will be cool. I really wanted a more updated Jericho and yeah, really glad to have this now. Head skin, like I said, really good. So this is really awesome, Chris Jericho right here. Next off, we have more figures and 
we have a Brock Lesnar. This also from the most recent basic set. Uh, obviously, Walkout Wear does stock the most recent basics, elites, battle packs, everything. You're going to get them very early there, much earlier than retail and everything. So, Brock Lesnar, this is the uh, Suplex City painted shirt on there. On the back, it says one way ticket. Uh, this is the Elite 19 head scan. This was the first time they used it. So, uh, pretty old head scan, but still works for Lesnar, I guess. So, uh, they didn't change anything. Yeah, this is another Brock Lesnar basic here. Painted on shirt. And yeah, something. At least the shirt is a little bit different because you can't really do much uh, different stuff with the uh, Brock Lesnar outfit because he always wears the same pretty much. This is the basic 74 Roman Reigns. And first off, this is a really awesome figure. I really like the orange. But on prototype pictures, I saw that they did not do the tattoo for, for this Roman. But my version came in and it did have the tattoo. So what I'm probably going to do, I, I'm probably going to do another like fix up video where I'm going to do a bunch of fix ups. I'm going to put the vest and the arms onto an elite Roman and make this attire into an elite. Uh, probably also the head scan because I'll be using an older Reigns Elite. So this is really awesome. I'm like really glad to see how this turns out because the basic already is really cool. But uh, giving it Elite Articulation, which is really easy, like anyone can do that. Like you don't need any customizing skills for that. Uh, that would be really cool to have this in Elite Articulation. So uh, stay tuned for the video on that. Then we have... From Basic 74, this is a really sought after figure that Walkout Wear also still does have in stock. So if you're looking for it, uh, make sure to go over there. My discount code 22 will save you 22% off. But this is pretty much similar to the Elite 12 cane. The only thing is that this has um, a whole, how do you call it? Like it has the other sleeve as well. The um, Elite 12 just has like one sleeve, but this has both sleeves. So this is a bit different, really, really cool. I see a lot of people just buying this and swapping the arm onto an Elite 12 cane if they have it because the Elite 12 cane is really rare. I do have that cane, but I think I'm going to let both of them how they are because I like how the basic looks and Elite 12 is like a super rare figure and I really don't want to do anything with it. So there's more in here. There's a bunch of more stuff in here. We have the basic 75 Finn Balor, which is a pretty plain figure, I would say. It doesn't have any logos or anything. Uh, the thing is, like, I don't know what they did with the torso. Because this torso isn't, like, perfect for Balor, I feel. But you can always use a Balor basics are used anyways most of the time to be made into elites, like... You can use the head scan and uh, put it onto an elite. You know, you don't actually need to buy battle elites since they're quite expensive. So you kind of can go ahead and uh, use a Cody Rhodes elite, put the hat on it, and then you can paint it up uh, whatever battle attire you're going for. So yeah, Finn Balor, I'm not really too sure about this figure, but yeah, Finn Balor here. Another figure from Basic 75, new basic set out right now. Is this Randy Orton and I'm actually really excited to have this because I'm going to make an elite fix up with this as well uh, the new head scan I never had this head scan before so this is a first for me and I'm also going to be swapping the arms onto an elite because it has the uh, tape here which the elites don't have and we didn't get an ordinary elite in like a very long while so yeah this is really cool to have. That will also be like in the fix up video. I don't know when this is going to be uploaded, but yeah, this is definitely going to be another video coming down the line. Then there's four figures in here left. First off, we have Basic 75 Lana. This is from the segment where this was like a wedding segment with Rusev on Raw. I think Roman Reigns came out and then something happened with a cake or something. I don't really remember too well, but I think that was it. But they really did a great job on that Lana. 
The dress is like really, really detailed. And they did a really detailed head scan here as well with the crown and everything. This is like molded on, so it's not rem removable. But this is like cool. Um, really do enjoy this Lana. Like they did like for basic, they did like a lot of extra tooling and stuff. So that is cool. Then we have another women figure here. We have a Bailey from series 74. And this actually got to be my favorite Bailey I have right now in my collection. Green is obviously my favorite color, but this is like really looking good. I don't even like the Toys R Us version too much anymore. So I think this is a lot better. I really do enjoy this Bailey green attire. Really awesome Bailey in my opinion. So yeah, glad to add this to my collection. Definitely, I think the best Bailey they have done so far. Then we have a figure a lot of guys are pro of you guys are probably not too excited about but I got John Cena and I'm definitely going to make an elite a swap with that as well going to put the arms onto the elite 40 Cena so I kind of will have an updated elite Cena so I'm going to show you guys that one as well so really excited for that it has the new arms already but the um, like they're not really the newest arms now because in basic 77 we're going to get even newer arms but these are already a bit different than they were before but yeah uh going to do a swap with that probably going to keep the head skin on the basic because i think it's not the best cena head skin and next off we have a really cool figure as well we got neville and i really do love the head skin a lot on this neville uh, they did a really good job probably the best Neville head skin so far until the new elite comes out And this is like kind of more angry Neville. I don't think it's like totally angry Neville yet like we're going to get on the upcoming elite, but This is still pretty darn cool I'm not sure if I'm going to put it on my elite because I just like the red attire and everything So probably going to keep this like it is Yeah, really cool Neville and there is one figure missing uh, that I'm going to show you guys right now as well. And that is Basic 75 Braun Strowman. And this has the brand new Strowman head scan. Uh, this is his updated look, obviously. There you go. It got the uh, ponytail and some hair here. I don't know, he, he's, he doesn't wear this anymore. I, I'm not really sure if he even did, but he probably did if they made it on the figure. Head scan looks pretty good to me. I'm going to do like a comparison with my custom Elite Strowman that I now had for a while, so uh, stay tuned for that. But they did a really cool job. This is also going to be on the Elite, the head scan. So this is going to be Elite 52 Strowman head. So uh, yeah, can't wait to get Elite 52 as well. Should be really cool. But also here on the back, it still has the Wyatt family logo. So I'm not really too sure why that is still there, but it is. So never mind. This is a really cool figure. Bronze first um, updated singles run attire, which took them a while. But now finally we have it. So yeah, if you guys want the figure, it's up on walkaway.com right now. I think uh, there are only a, f a few, a very few um, sites that have this yet. And you are going to get the best deal with my discount code and free shipping on walkaway.com. So head over there if you want the figure, if you want any of the figures. And like I said, we're going to do more um, like some fix ups in another video. So stay tuned for that. I think I'm going to show you the GCW Wrestling uh, GCW Money in the Bank Arena next. And after that, we're probably going to wrap it up. So I see you guys in the arena. So finally, as promised, we're going to take a look here at my GCW back. Uh, why do I always say the wrong name? GCW Money in the Bank setup. And what I did here is I used the Jack's Money in the Bank play set. And it usually doesn't really fit around a, a Mattel ring. But what I did is I really connected some of the parts different than they were supposed to be connected. Now I build like this thing over the ring. And from there, I'm going to hang the briefcase. So I actually don't have to hold that myself during filming. So this is pretty cool. Uh, hangs there pretty well. 
So yeah, the, there's the briefcase. It looks really awesome to me. I'm not too sure about this stage yet. I'm probably going to add something there, but I'm uh, doing the ramp again. I just think the ramp always adds a lot to the setup. So yeah, green ropes as always. And this is pretty much the arena so far. I uh, can't really wait to do the pay-per-view. Should be really good. Even though I'm really busy with all that stuff, like sometimes I'm really getting mad at myself for doing so much stuff. But in the end, I love doing it, so why not? GCW Money in the Bank coming up on the GCW Network. If you did not watch Backlash yet, I'll probably link that in the outro, so you can watch that as well. And yeah, guys, that pretty much wraps it up for today's WWE figure vlog. A big shout out to walkoutway.com for all the new figures in this one. 18 new figures in total which is insane a new custom figure review is coming up as well pretty soon so stay tuned for that and like i said i'm going to do uh, some fix-ups uh, with the figures i got today so uh, there will be another video up on that like a bunch of different stuff planned uh, coming out uh, we had a really good comic con weekend so thank you everyone for watching there and like i said this is pretty much it thank you guys for watching uh, if you enjoyed, make sure to leave me a like. And yeah, uh, check out walkoutway.com. Don't forget to use my discount code 22. We'll save you a lot of money. You'll get all the WWE figures you need as early as possible on there. So check that out. Also, a bunch of pre-orders on Elite 52, Elite 53, the new Battle Pack set with Mojo Rawley, Zack Ryder, Hype Bros. The upcoming Basic set, which is coming pretty soon with the new AJ Styles, the really cool SummerSlam Ziggler and everything. So check them out. Link in the description below. I hope you guys did enjoy this video and I see you all in the next one.